Hello good people and welcome to Finance Girls Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, we are going to learn how to create a chart that would highlight the maximum value or the highest value in your sales or series. Take an example, you have sales data and for each product, you want to see the top performing salesperson in a chart. As we always do, let's head to Excel and see how to get this done. So this is our sales data and for this particular data we sell food and these are the salespersons. We want to from this large data set create a summary report or a chart that will highlight the top performing salesperson for each food type. Now this data is in a range of cells. You are better off in Excel when you store data in a table. So to convert this data into a table you can stand in any cell, making sure you have your headers in place, and you press Ctrl T. Okay, if you're not using the shortcut, you can go to Insert and you see Table here. This brings you this dialog box. You check that you have headers and you click OK. The advantage with tables is that when the table expands or shrinks, your calculations or analysis will update on refresh. You can name a table, so I stand in here and then I go to the table design and I'm naming this Finex. Now in this table, I'm going to insert a pivot table. So I can go to insert and insert a pivot table or I can use a shortcut Alt and V. It pops up in older versions or in newer versions you can add a T and then you have this. I'm placing my new pivot table in a new worksheet so I'll click OK. So I have this worksheet for my pivot table and to create my report, I'm going to analyze revenue. So I will drag revenue into the value section and then slice this by sales, salesperson. I'm going to push this into the row section and now I have this. So this gives me a summary report of all the revenue for each salesperson. Now for this sales report, I want to be able to filter based on a product. So standing in here, I can select any cell, go to the pivot table analyze and insert a slicer. So the slicer is going to be on the food type. I check this box and I have this. So this is how a slicer looks like. It allows you to filter your pivot table. So here if I select Jollof, okay, it updates. I select Popo, it updates and gives me only for this. But beyond this, what we want to do is actually create a chart. So let me push this here. A chart that will give me the maximum value for each salesperson. I'm going to mirror this report to help me create my chart. So standing in any empty cell, I'll stand in here and then reference this and then hold this shift to the right cell and press Ctrl R and I'll copy this down to the last value Ctrl D so I now have mirrored the same data here I don't need the grand total so to take it off I can go to pivot table analyze in the design tab go to grand totals and then I'll take the grand totals off so what's going to happen is that Whatever happens in this pivot table report would also happen in this mirrored version. To keep the layout static, what we can do is to select one of the labels, right click, go to field settings, and then under layout and print, we can choose to show items with no data so that at every point in time all the salespersons are present, even if they don't have any revenue. So I'll click OK and then I'll have this. So I'm going to create a helper column and this helper column is going to give me maximum sales. So I'll put in maximum sales here. Let me just put border lines around this. And this is what I'm going to calculate here. If the figure that is shown here in the revenue is the highest 
it should be thrown into this column otherwise it should return NA okay so we are going to use a simple if formula equal to if this number is equal to the maximum we use max of this range so I'll highlight this range we don't want this to go down as we copy this formula down so F4 to lock it and then you close your bracket so if this number I've selected is equal to the maximum number in this range then comma return the number okay otherwise return NA so you close bracket open bracket for NA the reason we are bringing NA is to make it easy to plot um, blank values so NA is useful it's better than zero that's why we're using NA here so I'll close this and because this is not the highest value in this range I have NA here I'll hold this and then control D to copy this down so currently Freddy is the highest for Popo so that's how it's going to be if I go to coffee it shifts to Yar, plain rice it goes to Evelyn it is this data we are going to chart so let's do our chart now selecting this range I'm going to press alt F4 so alt F4 will insert your default chart mine is the column chart and we prefer our chart to be straight to the point without the noise so I'll take off the grid lines take off my chart title we'll bring in these labels directly on the We'll bring in these labels directly on the bar so we'll take it off for now so we currently have this now the reason you are seeing this blue and this orange is that we added the maximum series so for every maximum value it will have a mirror orange bar and this is what is going to highlight the maximum sales so select one and all of them will be selected and then you press Control one which allows you to edit this part we'll increase the gap width a bit and then we'll put the series overlap all the way to 100% so this will make the orange bar sit on the blue bar and that is what is going to highlight the maximum sales at every point in time while we are here we can add our data label So we have our data labels here um, if you like you can format it so that we can have more white space in this presentation so what we are going to do is select the data label and then press ctrl 1 and then in the label options we scroll down to number and we we'll go to custom and we we'll put in a custom code custom code that would format the thousand part to a K so that format is 0, 0.0 comma to take off the thousand and then we add K to have something like this okay so if you like you can build in it to give it more effect so our charts is done and what is going to happen now is if I select any product is going to highlight the top performing salesperson in each case as we always do please apply it to your own example pick the lessons and practice thank you very much for watching for more of these short videos you can send ad to this whatsapp number we'll add you to our broadcast list all our old videos are on our youtube channel finest Kelsa. please visit and subscribe for notification of new videos or follow us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much.